Unlock MLS is the first MLS in the country to launch Matrix's new and greatly improved CMA product. I'm Jack Sellers, and today I'm gonna to be walking you through Matrix's powerful new tool. As you can see, I've got my computer right here with me, so let's dive right in. First thing we're gonna do is go to the My Matrix. We're gonna go down to that CMA manager. And here, you'll notice we can see all of our CMAs uh, lined up right here. There are three different views. We have our list view, we have our thumbnail view, as well we have our gallery view. All right, and to start a new CMA, you'll see up in the top right hand corner, we have new CMA report, where you'll simply click on that button and you'll notice we have to enter our subject property. And as one of the cool things about this, as you start typing your subject property, kind of like a Google find, you will see, boom, it probably has already finished finding that address. So just simply click on it. Here you can attach it to a contact. If they are not in your system, you can on the fly create a new contact if need be. Down below, you'll see that we have a suggest comps. It's turned automatically on with the wand and that will go out and find comps that are similar, uh, close to the subject property, and down below, the default is gonna start with at least 10 comps. Now, you can drop that down, and you can show up to 50 comps, if needed, uh, and choose to your desire. After you select your amount of comps, down at the bottom, just simply click Create CMA. Now over to the left top, you're gonna to see our CMA. We have the name over here, Bill Skeens. And to the right of that, you're gonna see a little uh, dollar sign next to the prepared by. So that dollar sign, if we click in there, this is where you can go ahead and put in your subject property's price or price range, however you do business. As well, below that, you're gonna see a field for my suggested price message. So if you wanna put a little message in there as well, feel free to do that. And once you are done here, you'll simply click on those double arrows up at the top. I'll click the save button and then click the two arrows and that will go ahead and hide that. Now we have our price range. And next to the price range, you'll also see CMA details. Don't forget to click here. This is where you can go ahead and enter the description. Contact down below, you'll see remarks. And then here you need to do your due diligence to go through the address, the features, what's required, general, and you just need to make sure that all of that information is correct. And if it is not at this time, you can change. Under custom fields, this would be a great place to put in any other field that you wish to maybe adjust by later on, or you just want to account for that. And this will add that right into your CMA. When you're done, just go ahead and hit the save button and that will go ahead and save the CMA details. Now you're gonna see below that, we have the start button, we have the comparison, property full, and summary. So the first thing you'll see, the start is pointing us down to find more comps. So you'll simply click on that little bar, find more comps. You're gonna notice the default over here is cross property. So the first thing we'll do is we'll change our property type to match, which in this case, residential. And then you wanna to go to your statuses and make sure that you pick your active, pending, and closed. You'll notice that the close date will go zero minus 90. Again, that's the default going back 90 days. If you want to maybe change that out to 60 days, you can always back that out and put 60 days. And then below that, we need to pick our sub property type to match. So in this case, it's gonna be a single family residence. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna either uh, find light comps uh, based on the neighborhood that you're in or maybe one of the schools that it goes into. So we can go into the subdivision field and we can type in the subdivision or even sometimes I like to go to the map and you can go to the find address and you can just type in the subject property um, over there. And right here, enter in that subject property's address 
and it's going to put a little pin marker on that. And this is really great because you can back out of here. Uh, and sometimes I like to go over to the layers on my map, uh, which is really nice. You can overlay uh, the boundaries, right? And you can overlay neighborhoods to make sure you're in the same neighborhoods or maybe schools. And this just kind of helps you when you are uh, finding those comps to make sure that you are staying within the same neighborhood um, or maybe not going outside of that neighborhood. And sometimes I like to go over to the map and hit that little plus button. That is going to convert layer to a polygon. So now after you select that, you'll see a little finger on your map and you just simply select that area and it's gonna pull that comps based off of your area. Pretty slick. Now what we can do is we can go down to our results and this is where you're gonna do your due diligence, right? You're gonna go through those comps. You're gonna pick out at least three solid close comps. And again, you, you wanna include the action and pending just to kind of see where the market is going. Always a good idea to do that. So we're just gonna simply, we're gonna pick out some comps here and we're not gonna spend much time, but this is again where you're gonna do um, your due diligence and grab those comps. And after we're done selecting our comps, again, we wanna get three solid close comps about, that's it's always a good rule of thumb. And then you'll see up at the very top right-hand corner, you'll see a plus button that says, add selected to CMA. That's gonna go and add in those checked off properties over to your CMA. And look at this nice, clean, new look, I love it. So now we have our comparisons in there and now we can click on the comparison right next to the start tab up there on the top left. Now you're gonna see a comparison. Now this is where I wanna pause. This is where you're gonna go in and you can edit the different fields. You'll see over to the right, there's a, a pencil. That will allow you to edit the different fields. You can turn on or you can turn off any of these fields that you wanna see or not see. And there's a little save button right up there at the top. You'll wanna, it's green right there and we're gonna slide that back over. Next to the pencil is going to be the little gear. This is where you make adjustments. Something that's really cool, I love this part about adjustments. So depending on your view, right here, we're in the vertical view. This is where you would do line item adjustments, right? So you're gonna have to find the adjustments and go through each one. Now I just hit on the horizontal view. This is nice because at the very top, you'll see the little spots underneath the field for full bass, half bass, square feet. Here you can actually just put the dollar amount for that adjustment and it will go through and automatically make all those adjustments down that row. Super slick, really nice. And then after you make any adjustments, uh, make sure um, you're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the property full next and we can go ahead and the property full is gonna allow us to see these property types, the full view, so listing, photos, tax, all that information. And we can go through all of this for each comp to make sure that we are doing our due diligence, finding those apples to apples or oranges to oranges. Uh, the next field is gonna be the summary after we go through all the property full. The summary is gonna show you on a linear chart pricing where all of the comps land versus your uh, subject property. And then also we have square footage. So you can see on this linear graph pricing or now you can see the square footage. And this just kind of gives you an overall uh, view um, that we can kind of see. Now, the last step on this is you definitely want to make sure to save it. You'll see there's a little save button up there, the little floppy disk, right? So it, there is an auto save in the background, but always as a best practice, make sure that you save it throughout. And then over to the right, you're going to see a personalize and share. So now we can personalize this CMA and then we can go ahead and share it. So you can personalize each sheet. You can reorder these sheets. Over to the left, you'll see the six little dots. If you grab those six little dots, you can go ahead and move these up or down, uh, rechange the order, and you have total control over every page. Um, if you don't want one of those pages, you can come over to the right side, and there's that little eye. And up at the top left, we have our three little buttons. We have the reset, 
save as default, and then you also have the add. So if you wanna add in any pages, you can add up to five custom pages right here. You'll just go ahead and browse your computer or you can drag and drop them in. So this is really helpful for any listing presentations. If you want to add any of your uh, office, um, office documents, anything to help your presentation along, again, you can add up to five documents um, right here. And this is about it. After you're gonna, uh, after you personalize this, make sure to hit that save button again. And now we can go ahead and we can share this out. When you share this, simply put the contact. Again, if they're not there, you can add them on the fly. Put the subject, a message, and my favorite up at the top, you're gonna see a gray little bar that says view presentation. So if you wanna get a look at what this looks like before you send it on out, you can hit view presentation, get a little uh, feel for what it's gonna look like. And if you're happy with that, you're ready to share. That's it. I hope that was helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions.